Hi, this is Paul. I wanted to make a quick video about Netflix uh, and their cancellation of Daredevil because that brings to number three of the Marvel's, you know, produced uh, shows on Netflix. Uh, of course, Iron Fist is first, and then Luke Cage, and now Daredevil after three seasons. And of course, Netflix is doing it because, let's be honest, Net Di uh, Disney, Marvel Disney, is going to have their own streaming service sometime in 2019, and they figure. You know, and I can't kind of blame them for their rationale. They think, you know, why have these Marvel shows and give that promotion, you know, because let's face it, Disney Netflix is going to compete. Disney uh, Marvel is going to comp compete uh, with Netflix for streaming services. So they figure, why have those shows on their net on their network? You know, it's like free advertising, you know, for that Disney streaming service. And that's the rationale, which I can't blame them for that. My only hope is that they do continue with Daredevil and with Iron Fist and Luke Cage on the streaming services for Disney. You know, they have lots of hours, of course, obviously, to uh, produce content. And they have tons of characters to be produced, but I really like these shows. Especially, particularly Daredevil was my favorite. And again, special credit to Charlie Cox, who are portraying Matt Murdock, a.k.a. Daredevil, and, you know, the actors, the actors that played uh, uh, Karen and Foggy Nelson, I thought they, you know, that was a really good casting for this show, and those three seasons were fantastic, and this past season, I, I just absolutely loved it, and so I would hate for them to kind of end it, or in that, you know, that character to be uh, never played again by, uh, again, Charlie Cox, I thought Charlie Cox did a fantastic job as Matt Murdock, uh, aka Daredevil, absolutely fantastic, again, I thought this show was the best show out of all the Marvel Netflix shows on Netflix. And like I said, I understand their rationale for canceling it because, again, they don't want to produce content that's going to be like like their rationale, you know, like free advertising, basically for for the Disney uh, Disney streaming service because they're going to, like I said, they are going to be direct competitors for, you know, for the buck, you know, for that bang for the buck. So hopefully they will, uh, and I think they said Marvel, uh, uh, produced a uh, statement saying that, that, that there'll be more Daredevil will come. So I'm um, hoping that that means that Daredevil will be produced on the new D Disney streaming service, service, you know, with the same cast, obviously. And uh, I look forward to that. And like I said, I hope they do um, put Iron Fist and Luke Cage together, you know, do a, a Heroes for Hire type thing, you know, on, on the new Disney streaming service, because I think we have enough uh, seasons, uh, of uh, Daredevil, I'm uh, not Daredevil, Iron Fist and Luke Cage that I definitely think we should, uh, you know, finally get them together as a Heroes for Hire type deal with Colleen Wing and Misty Knight. I think that would be great to do that, just so it's a little different than what was on Netflix. And I think that would be absolutely fantastic to do that. But they, you know, they switch those characters up and again, use them as a Hero for Hire type, type of deal on uh, Netflix. So just take those show so hopefully those shows three shows you know transition over to that you know to the new disney streaming services and like so they have one more season of i of the punisher and a third season of jessica jones to, you know that's going to debut obviously on netflix in 2019 and then after that they're probably going to get canceled okay and again disney whatever shows that netflix currently has that are theirs are going to uh, obviously probably going to get are going to get more likely to get transferred over to Disney's new streaming service, you know, once they, you know, they'll cancel whatever they want to cancel and, and take their content off Netflix. And Netflix is producing their own original content now, anyway, and they're very successful at it. So, again, I understand the rationale for it, you know, but it's still, you know, uh, disappointing. But at least uh, I think they'll, especially Daredevil, they'll ha he'll have another life. You know, Charlie, that won't be the last time we see Charlie Cox portraying Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil. I definitely think he will. Uh, you know, they'll carry that show over because I think that's the more, the most popular show on Netflix of the Marvel superhero ones and, and the one that I think is the best show, in my opinion. So I'll definitely look forward to that. So I'm not going to be as sad as, you know, other people may be sad about it. No, I just think that ever will transfer over because it's a successful show. And I think they, they'd be idiots not to, to continue it on their streaming services because people know it. They love the character. They love the actor. Just transition it over. It makes sense, okay. And then I think for Luke Cage and Iron Fist, you do have to do that hero for hire thing. I think that would be better. 
I think putting them together with Misty Knight and Colleen Wing and do a Heroes for Hire thing, I think would be very successful. And then eventually, you bring over, you know, Jessica Jones show and then, the, you know, the Punisher show if you want to do that. Okay. But I definitely think Jessica Jones is coming over too as well once they cancel that. And maybe they can finally get, you know, Luke Cage and her together, like in the comics. But anyway, um, let me know what you think of them, Netflix uh, canceling Daredevil. Do you understand the reasoning? For that and the reason why, and do you think they will pick it up on the uh, new Disney streaming service? I think they will because I think it's a no-brainer. Okay, it's an instant way to make money. It's a co character that's extremely popular. Okay, it makes sense. Okay, so anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, again, feel free to leave comments down below. And let me know what you think. Okay, and this is Paul saying so long and take care.